Well, I'll give it to them. I'll give it to them a bit. They seem to be self-aware. At least some do. Uh, Mr. Deadman here at the Deadman Stone Podcast talking more about the, uh, the what, six blocks, might be seven blocks by now, I don't know, um, of, of six square blocks taken over by Antifa and pretty much filled up by a bunch of leftists that want to turn into a free-loving commie land where nothing costs money, everything is free, whatever, and they, how long could that last? How long could that possibly last, right? They want to declare it their own country where everything is free. Well, things cost money. They always have, always will. Nothing is free ever. Like, you want something for free, it comes at a cost. What is that cost going to be? Anyway, anyway. There's a subreddit for this called Cap Hill uh, Autonomous Zone. I almost want to say AutoZone. Cap Hill AutoZone. Uh, I, there's a post here, controversial opinion. But the uh, but the auto zone won't last. I would like to say that I love th- the idea, but you guys, it won't last. You have no idea. I'm oh, sorry, sorry, that's me. I don't know. You have no way to grow food. You could turn that park into a farm, but it'll take long, and the soil's probably infertile. And you don't have access to farming supplies. When food runs out, people will leave. There are also, like, no arms factories near you. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, You need to be armed if you want to last the cops. Well, they have a police station. They have a little bit of stuff. I don't know what the cops left in there. They might be... They might be a hold-up for now. But once they're back, you guys won't be able to defend yourselves. I'm not saying you're all fucked. But you seriously need to get moving if you want to be successful. Well, I, I rose this... I rose these concerns. I, I, I raised these concerns in a prior video that you know got some hate probably by some Antifa lovers. Which, hey, if you're watching, go fuck yourself. I think you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, look at that. But if you're not Antifa, awesome. You're good. Anyway. But yeah, they want to declare this their own little country. If that's seriously what they want to do, then they have some big questions to tackle. How are this? How is this country going to raise money? What sort of what sort of, what sort of economy can this little country have? I mean, if it's real, if they're realistically trying to start their own little country, it can't it can't steal from America. The military would just come in and stomp it down. But even before then, the power would be cut, gas would be cut, the food supply would be cut. What are we going to send? Are we going to drop? care packages and care packages over there to a uh, little puts in commie land people are kind of doing that now out of the kindness of their heart and that's where the free stuff is being supplied and being passed around but eventually that will stop that will stop and then it's like what do y'all do but then you have a, a whole other problems to tackle anarchy you guys live in anarchy and in the anarchy well there's chaos there's no order. There's already there's already messages out there now about people uh, t- trying to shoot each other. Shoot each other over graffiti. Hell, it didn't even take for the lead it, it didn't take a day for the leader to be uh, shunned by the community for being after being ex- revealed to be a serial abuser. But the community, at least some members of the community, seem to be self aware. Oh, let's see. Like this person, I don't know if they're in the the auto zone here, but uh, I, I, I Murdoch says, "Oh no, he probably isn't in there." Uh, I've gone weekend camping longer than the Chaz has existed. Any plans for its longevity have little chance of happening. However, the Chaz will be told for years. And uh, as long as nothing ex- unexpected occurs, the stores, stories are likely to get bigger and better every time. Are you serious? Occupy Wall Street was something that happened. And uh, most people don't even remember that. Occupy Wall Street was something that a bunch of liberals did. And they thought it was going to be a, a smart move. But it ended and it, it turned into a dumpster fire. No one remembers that. No one cares. Uh, let's see. We're, we're some more self-awareness here. 
Do do do. Okay. The fact that no one here seems to remember Occupy Protest strongly suggests we'll all forget about this in a few years' time as well. Right, right. Whoa, whoa, speak for yourself, buddy. I still feel the sting of the way that movement fizzled out. <laughs> you and six other upvotes? God. Let's see. Do do. Um, the revolution never survives if it's isolated. It's meant to send a message that we can create something better. Your small little six block place isn't better. What are you talking about? How can it be better if it can't even self sustain? You're playing pretend land. You're playing pretend. That's what you're doing. Okay. Uh, this person, pretty good comment here. It isn't a revolution. It's a bunch of privileged people camping out in a gentrified neighborhood. That's exactly what's going on. They even, someone even agreed. Someone even agreed. I get that. But it would be nice if it lasted a while. I guess so. I guess so. Let's see. Um, all right. Someone re responds with a uh, funny you th uh, funny you think privileged people camping out in a gentrified neighborhood as a PR stunt makes them radical leftist revolutionaries. Nobody has done left labor community organizing their whole life is taking the stunt seriously. So not even leftists are taking the stunt seriously. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. And if the city, all the city has to do, if they want to play smart about this and not use lethal force, is cut the power, cut the water. That's all they have to do. And those privileged white kids will go the fuck home. They will go home. Or what they could do is the military could use certain tactics if it is true that the military uh, used certain tactics to infiltrate Occupy Wall Street and to destroy it from within, but they probably don't have to do that. They may not even have to do that. It might just fizzle out on its own. When the food runs out, when the power gets cut off, people will just go home. But they say, hey, if they stay for longer, maybe the military will come in. The people who are saying that are people on this on this thread right here, on this subreddit thread. And they they say, oh, it could cause a civil war. Are you kidding? Not even. Because, the mil first of all, the military wouldn't even be called in. But even if the military or some sort of police presence was called in to use tear gas to gas everybody out of the buildings and get them back home, Hard-working Americans, people with, with jobs that see this as an embarrassment, would be like, finally, finally, go home. Go home. But anyway, yeah, this, this subreddit exists. I, 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 I didn't believe it at first. I didn't believe it. Now, they have posts about, hey, how to, how to grow, how to start a farm. These idiots don't know what they're talking about. It takes a long time. It takes a and I, I could speak when as knowledgeable about that. I have a vegetable garden in my backyard. I started a, a last month. It takes a while, and you have to have access to uh, some pretty good stuff if you want to make it. Especially now, in summer. All right. I mean, I guess in the in the Seattle climate, maybe. Hmm. But you don't, they don't have access to farming tools. So good luck. Good luck. And then they have some infighting. Because the POC, person of color, that thing comes up. There's people within the subreddit. There's people within the subreddit that are advocating that the, the land that they took be given back to the natives that once had it. You might clap and think, oh, that's so brave. That's good. That's a smart move. First off, it's not even their land. Second of all, does that tribe even exist? Third, that land doesn't even belong to the tribe anymore. It's no longer their land either. Uh, so it's not uh, the leftist land to give. It's not uh, the tribe's land anymore. It's not that tribe may not even exist. And how the hell do you even do that? They, they have no answers. They have no answers. They're, they're, they're playing dream right here. Um, and the worst part about it is there's going to be no consequence to this whatsoever. The people in this are probably not going to be 
uh, fined or put in jail at all because uh, the police are a giant bunch of pussies. Uh, well, they're made into pussies because the mayor is a giant pussy and the governor is a giant pussy. Um, they're massive blue waffles is what they are. Nasty, nasty pussies. So don't elect pussies, okay? Do not elect pussies because this is what you get. Anyway, you have a good one.